Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I am sitting down with Dr. Alan Armitage, who is here to do some speaking engagements at the Greenery and is the plant guru. Dr. <laughs> Armitage, how are you? I am well, Stephanie, and thank, thank you. you for having me on. Plants, they are your life. <laughs> you have written about them, you have spoken about them, you were a college professor. Tell us a little bit about just your history and, and plants. Well, my history is... Uh Simply complicated, but uh, <laughs> n nevertheless, I, uh, like all of us, we took different paths to get here. I, uh, I consider Yogi Berra the greatest philosopher of the world, and he said, when the path forks, take it, which is how <laughs> we all got to do what we are right. doing. And I have enjoyed plants for a long time. I work with the industry. I work with your neighbor and your mother and gardeners, and we just have fun. And you were a professor at the University of Georgia, yes. and you just recently retired. Recently retired from there, I'm a horticulturist. And uh, and there's something special about a plant with that. Well, you know, plants are, uh, you, know, we're all, you, can't, you can't get away from plants. You, no. you, you might not know anything about them, but you're passing under an oak or you're passing by a shrub. Uh, they're everywhere. It, it's, it's extraordinary how important plants, of course, food, but the ornamental plants as well. So, um, yeah, everybody seems to like this stuff. They do, and the greenery <laughs> is just fabulous. Yeah. They are the go-to spot on the island for everything horticulture, for your, your nurseries, for, for everything. And you are here on behalf of them, and you have some speaking engagements lined up. I do. Uh, I have been to the greenery on other occasions. It is terrific. You're Isn't absolutely that? correct. The people there are excited. And when you walk in there, you know that you're Hmong family. Yes. So. And they, and, and they know what they're talking they about. They do, and that <laughs> is really important because there's a lot, myself included, who don't really know much about it, about plants, That's about right. gardening, That's about right. when to prune and, and right. when to water. And they truly are the experts, and you get good, solid knowledge when you go down there. Exactly, and, and you don't have to be intimidated by this stuff we call gardening. We've made it way too complicated, by the way. <laughs> the fact is, You've it's not complicated. You've written lots and lots well, of books about it. Well, but these books are to hopefully decomplicate. Okay. Uh, you know, it's just, so when you go in there, you, you just want to have people chat with you, if you wish. In the greenery, you can also go in there and be quite anonymous, and that's fine too. So the whole idea about this gardening thing is just enjoy it. It's therapy. It's nothing it to be taken seriously. Uh, I you, like it. You carry a little bit of a special hat around with you. <laughs> Well, apparently, uh, I can be like this, and nobody will know who I am, uh, which is just fine, thank you. <laughs> then I can put on this, and this hat is a heck of a lot uh, more famous than I am. <laughs> no, truly, this is like my, my disguise in reverse here. If I put it on, I'm in trouble. Okay. If I take it off. But anyway, I, I, wore it. I wear it because I really, truly do understand how important keeping the sun off your skin is. And uh, as I was teaching at Georgia many, many, many years, I simply said, wear a hat outside, kids. Uh, when I Did give, they listen to you? No, wait a minute. No, when, <laughs> so I gave, all, I gave a lot of, you know, labs and looking and talking mm -hmm. about plants outside. And uh, I simply said, please wear a hat outside. And if they forgot the first time, no problem. If they forgot the second time, they had to write a 10-page essay on skin cancer. I taught for over 30 years. I received two papers. So it's, it is important stuff. You did listen. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then. <laughs> it was, had nothing to do with the common sense. It was a darn paper. <laughs> um, so what are your topics? What are you going to be talking about when you're speaking on behalf of the greenery? Well, there's a number of things I'm going to be talking about. Um, plants and pruning and all that okay. stuff. Like you said, common, what I call common sense gardening. Taking nothing too seriously. Okay. Um, and then... This is the this 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 is what everybody looks at today. So I've developed an app for you, Thank for your you. mother, for your neighbor, for anybody who touches plants. And you go on here and you say, "Gee, I'm interested in a lantana." It gives you the information. Okay. Gee, I'm interested in pollinators. And it also, by the way, if you wish, you can find the garden centers near you, oh. and the greenery is at the top of the list. Fabulous. And it also takes you there. And you have two engagements set up. When, when are you speaking? I'm speaking on Saturday. I, uh, <laughs> 10 something, and then there's another one after. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. It's so like this a, Saturday, <laughs> we'll have the information right. up on the screen. It'll like, be on our website. It's like when I arrive, I'll be there, and I hope people will, and, uh, will enjoy themselves. They will. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for visiting Hilton Head, and thank you for bringing your expertise to the greenery. Well, that is a well, you're very fabulous welcome. partner. And I brought all these crazy grandkids and kids, and we are having a ball. Good. So thank you. Good. You're welcome.
Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Talk of the Town.